Hello everyone, back tuning into today's video. We're going to have a look at the weather for October uh, in today's video. It looks like that's high pressure building in uh, at the uh, end of this week into weekend and through into next week. How long this high pressure is lasting though is open to a little bit of doubt. The long range models, some of them uh, want to go quite a long way into October with it. Other uh, models want to break it down pretty quickly though. So, uh, as I was explaining yesterday's video, it's always an uncertain time really, September into October. There's a lot of activity going on in the Atlantic Ocean um, and how these areas of low pressure that start their lives as tropical storms in the tropical Atlantic, how they interact with the jet stream and the northern part of the Atlantic always causes a lot of confusion. So but we could get an extended period of high pressure for October. It could all break down in just a few days. We'll have a look at some of the charts in a moment. Before I get on with that, though, just very quickly to mention the ads, there's links to articles on all the pages at gaslands.com. Have a browse through the widgets and click through the links. You'll be helping to pay for the website, and thanks very much for doing that. Uh, Gas Shop will be opening very soon, the Amazon Shop. In fact, it is open all year round, but I'll be starting to publicise it very soon as we run up towards Christmas. If you want to do any early Christmas shopping, uh, you can click through the link. There is a link to Gav Shop on the home page. Just uh, scroll through the buttons. You'll see when it takes you to Gav Shop. As we get close to Christmas, I'll put this up near the video. But uh, it is on the home page. If you've got any Christmas shopping to do early at Amazon, uh, then you can go via the Amazon banners in Gas Shop and do your Christmas shop. And I'll be talking a lot more about it uh, in about, uh, what are we doing? It's sort of the end of October. So I'll be doing it in about a month's time. So uh, let's have a look at the CFS V2 first of all. Um, the 500 millibar high dominance for the coming months. So these are broken down into weekly periods. We've got the first chart uh, going from the 21st to 27th of September, so the week that we're in at the moment. Uh, green extrapolates to low pressure and blue. Um, orange, yellow, red, uh, those are the colours ex extrapolating to high pressure. So for the coming week, it's still quite unsettled with a trough of low pressure, generally over and to the west of the country. The jet stream is going a little bit like that. So we've got this ridge up to the northeast. Uh, but really, it's the low pressure for the coming week that is still sort of in control. This is a transitional period, period though. So as we get towards the weekend, it does turn more settled. Um, so it's maybe not all that representative, actually, of the uh, picture through the coming week. Anyway, by the time we get through to the next weekly period, going from the 28th of September to the 4th of October, then we're firmly in anti-cyclonic high pressure conditions. So the red colours are firmly established there, massive area of red across many, many parts of Europe and stretched out into the Atlantic as well. The trough of low pressure is being shoved up towards Greenland and Iceland and it means that the jet stream is going like that. So it turns much more settled as we go through to the start of October with high pressure well and truly in control. At this time of year, that could give us some fairly warmish days. Temperatures may be still able to approach 70 Fahrenheit. You can get decent amounts of sunshine. By night, it can be chilly. Of course, if the high pressure is clear, uh, we've got to think about mist and fog patches as well. I remember CFSB2 wants to keep that high pressure going on. So as you go from to the 5th to the 11th of October, uh, the red colours are still there dominating the weather, sitting around and to the east of the country like that. The low pressure still locked in over Greenland and Iceland with the jet stream again going like that. So it really is a high pressure fest through the first half of the October with the CFS V2. That high pressure could be pull pulling in some fairly warmish air uh, from the south as well. And look at this, you go through to the 12th to the 18th of October and still the high pressure, the ridge goes on. So it's just sitting there uh, to the east, not being moved. Uh, Dominate, but it'll be a very dry start to October. It'll be a very dry first half to October if this comes off. Again, the trough of low pressure is through the central part of the Atlantic, but not able to penetrate into the country as the jet stream is being kept at bay with those areas of low pressure. So the CFS V2 definitely seeing a very anti-cyclonic uh, October up to the third week of the month. What about the Beijing Climate Centre? These are the 500 millibar high to dominant charts from the BCC. And uh, we, these broke down 10 day periods. So we've got the chart first of all for, for the uh, 1st to the 10th 
of October. And again, above average heights, high pressure dominating through the first 10 days of the month. Be lots and lots of dry weather in across the country uh, once again. But as we go through to the next 10 day period, this going from the 10th to the 20th, we do see a breakdown taking place here. The high pressure is receding back. We have to go over to this side of the chart. High pressure is receding back to Scandinavia. And uh, it's up there as well. As this area of below average heights, low pressure, starts to move in off the Atlantic. So this is seeing a breakdown to the high pressure through the middle part of October. Turning more unsettled after a dry start. And then we go through to the next 10 day period. Which is, taking us up to the end of the month. This is 21st to the 30th. And uh, the low pressure, the trough is deepening in the Atlantic. We've still got a bit of ridging down to the south. But I think this is probably quite unsettled, actually. Maybe more unsettled than it looks. That's a deep trough in the Atlantic. And I think the jet stream is coming through the country. So despite that area of above average heights, generally, to the south of us, that is probably quite an unsettled final 10 days of October as well. So we haven't got a discrepancy here between these two long range models. The CFS seeing a real high pressure fest going on and on and on, whereas the Beijing Climate Centre wants to break this down fairly quickly. Certainly a dry first week, maybe 10 days, and then breaking down after that. But even to add to even more confusion, the shorter range models... Some of them are hinting that it could break down even in the first week. So this has been the uh, GFS run, the 6 o'clock run. There's the high pressure building through for Saturday. We go through into the first half of next week with that high pressure firmly in control up to the end of September and into the start of October. But by the time we go through to uh, the 2nd of October, already the high pressure being put under pressure is being moved to the east by these areas of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic. So already by Friday the 2nd of October, we're bringing rain bands in off the Atlantic. And as we go through in the first week, I don't normally show the extended range of the GFS, but as we go through the first week, it actually just turns more and more unsettled. So that uh, by the time we go through to the 6th of October, we really are in a very unsettled pattern there with low pressure diving northwest to southeast across the country, bringing lots of heavy rain and strong winds. The ECMWF, though, doesn't agree with that, so we've got the high pressure building in at the weekend and into the start of next week, and by day 10, when the GFS is breaking it all down, look at this, the ECM just has that high pressure sitting there, very much in line with what we've seen from those longer range miles. That would be a very dry first week of October anyway with 1,040 millibar area of high pressure sitting right over the top of the country. So a lot of confusion today as to uh, what's going on with this area of high pressure. I think we will definitely build in high pressure over the weekend. It will last into the first half of next week, so a settled end to September seems likely. Uh, maybe temperatures lifting up towards around the 70 Fahrenheit mark, but with some chilly nights. And then we get to October. Does this high pressure break down quickly? Or does it persist? I've got a feeling it's probably going to last through the first week um, of the month. And then my suspicion is that it'll break down in the second week. But uh, we've got to wait a bit longer on that to see. So uh, it's all very interesting anyway. It's certainly a, a different pattern this autumn to what we've had over the past uh, few years. We've quite a cool and unsettled in September. And now hinting at a fairly warm and dry October. It is a little bit different to what we've had um, over the past uh, several years. So uh, let's wait and see where we go over this. But five-day forecast tomorrow, so come back for that. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching.